Hi, beautiful. You look good. Today we're watching people <laughs> give themselves long bobs, but they just may not go right. I've seen the thumbnails. I've seen the titles. It definitely seems like these bobs are not going to be the cutest and there may be some disasters and we're going to watch them today. Oh, wait, what, 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 wait, what, wait, do not skip ahead. Hold on. I have something for you for the holidays. I'm going to be giving 1000 of you 40 percent off any individual products at xmodohair.com. We don't do this. This is not a thing I do. In honor of the holidays coming up, I thought why not just help you out? Give y'all a good deal. I also just wanted to thank the ones that, um, you know, watch my videos first. You guys are the OGs. You guys are the real ones. And so is everybody else. But like you, you know me well. We see eye to eye, you know? So if you would like it, then um, get on it. Make sure to use code HOLIDAY40 at checkout. Go, go do it. You're welcome. Let's watch some people hack up their hair and attempt to give themselves a bob. And by the way, bobs are really hard to do to yourself. Like they are hard for a hairstylist and they are especially hard when you can't stand in the back of your head and actually cut your own hair. It's difficult. Let's just watch the videos. First video is by Jazzcarn Bandon. Let's watch the video. I'm gonna be cutting my hair shorter, like right at my chin. That's like a lot of hair. Okay, so wait, she's doing like a chin length bob work. It'll be interesting. I do like her hair on the longer side. I think it looks nice at this length. I don't know how I will feel about shorter, like a lot shorter, like what she's planning. I don't know. It wouldn't be my first thing I would decide to do to her hair. Oh, I'm getting nervous already. And then I'm gonna take a comb and then split it down the middle. Girl. I can see it in your eyes. You're up to no good, girl. And then I'm gonna take all my hair and tie it off with a rubber band. What are we doing? Why are you putting a pigtail in your hair? What is that? And I'm gonna keep the rubber band a little higher because I'm gonna cut under the rubber band instead of cutting over top. So then when I cut it, it's like comes out straight because usually when you cut it from the top, it's like all curvy. Oh no. I think that's about good. I'm just gonna cut it from the bottom. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're putting a pigtail in and then cutting it like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, actually, I do know that that's gonna be a horrible idea. I mean, the worst idea you could possibly have, really. Um, The reason why is because you're overdirecting the hair from the back to here. So the shortest piece is gonna be here, and then it's gonna get longer and longer. So it's gonna be like a U shape over the ear. It's gonna be all sorts of bad. Don't ever put a ponytail in your hair and then try to cut it short. That is where I draw the line, okay? It's fine doing a lot of different things, but that one, <gasps> ooh, I don't know. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens though. And now I'm just gonna cut it. Some dull ass scissors. Just gotta cut it fast and think about it. Why are we cutting above the elastic? You just told me you were going to cut below the elastic. What happened to that idea? You had a good idea and you didn't execute it. <sighs> Girl, you know those scissors are dull as when it takes you 10 minutes to get through that much hair. Okay, I cut it off. Oh! Oh my god. I just ruined my hair. I just messed up my No, no, no. I was supposed to cut underneath the rubber band over top. Oh, oh. I forgot. You forgot? This is so short. <laughs> yeah. The really sad part is that, like, not fixable. You can do one of two things. So you can first get extensions, right? Well, I guess there's three options. You can get rid of the hair. You can just shave it all off. Three, you could do like a really short haircut. Those are kind of your options because at this point, you're gonna have to bring up the back short and something's gonna have to happen with the front. And um, it's, yeah, it's at an, a very awkward length. Yeah, something's gotta give here. <laughs> yeah, she knows. She knows she, oh, that's a cute little piece of, mm. it's giving very um berries and cream, which I do like their hair. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I just really messed up, like really bad. Let's take a deep breath. <gasps> I'm very interested to see what she does do because there's not a lot she can do. I'm gonna have a breakdown right now. Oh, no, 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 don't cry. We can do something to help it. Oh, see, that's better. Push it on the other side, it looks better. It looks fine if I put it on this side. Like, I could just like blend it in with my hair. Okay. Put it on this side, what do I do with this? It's way too short, what did I do? 
shave it? I don't know. I'm just going to part it like that, like a side part, and then take this hair, and then I'm gonna blend it in with this hair. So I'm just gonna like add some layers to this hair. Right. And then this side, I think I'm just gonna shave this side of my head off. We are gonna shave. And then this back part, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna try and blend it in with this hair. So first I'm gonna try and blend these little hairs with this hair. So I'm gonna take it out like this, pull it out, and as I'm pulling, I'm gonna take my scissors, cut it and layer it down. <laughs> That's definitely one way of cutting layers. An easier way would be to pick up like high slice sections, elevate them up to here and cut off the remaining and you will blend it better that way. This is also a way, there's multiple ways of doing things. This is, might not be the most easiest or the most productive, but we can do it. And I will watch and take it all in. Yo, she don't give a f how are we gonna connect the back? There has to be all sorts of things going on in order to fix this. And it takes a very skilled professional to fix this type of haircut. Girl, come on. Your little faux layers, I don't think are gonna help. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all my hair and like tie it up into like a side part kind of thing. And I'm gonna pull it all the way down to about there. And then I'm gonna just chop all this off. <laughs> That. I mean, listen, it was better than using the comb and doing the whole thing she did with before. However, why does she keep putting her hair into like pigtails on random parts of her head and then chopping it off? Let's do not a giant section next time. Let's do multiple small sections. It doesn't look the best, but it looks okay. Now I'm gonna shave this off. And then I'm gonna take it from like right here and go all the way down to my ear. Okay, so since that's tied off, I'm just gonna shave this part of my head. That noise makes me scared. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. She's doing it. She's going for it. She's doing it. I thought we were watching a Bob tutorial, but this has turned into a nightmare. <laughs> if she was happy, I would be happy, but she's clearly not happy. She is struggling like I am and like, ooh, I'm feeling a second breakdown coming on. And this is how much hair came off. It doesn't look really bad but it looks bad i was just trying to give myself a trim and ended up cutting half my hair off listen she said it not me i might have said the same thing but if she said it that makes me not a bad person right i thought i would be more scared to do this but i've been thinking about this for like past few days ever since i shaved this i think it's just the best thing to do now so i'm not that scared oh she's going for it we went from a bob to a shaved head way too quickly watching this back just shows me so much about myself now in the past i've struggled with a lot of things if you told me a few years ago that i would be shaving my head and posting this video to YouTube, I would call you crazy. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. Okay. I'm seeing a transformation take place. I'm excited to see more. I'm interested. I'm on the edge of my stool here. I feel like this is the best decision to like grow my hair out thick and like what? healthy again because my hair was really damaged and it was really thin. So I think I really needed this. I think I look ugly i do not like how i look i'm gonna be wearing hats all the time now i'm not gonna lie i was expecting like a happy outcome i think she looks so badass and amazing and i like the shaved head way better than i like her long hair personally but i wish she felt good about it too that makes me kind of sad i thought she was gonna like it well i hope she likes it now yeah there's always wigs you can always do wigs you have a shaved head now it's like you have a free for all with wigs so damn okay wow that threw me for a loop let's go and watch another video <laughs> monica jane what do you have for us this is my hair at its current length let's take a look see shall we um, Ooh, it's beautiful. It's very long and pretty. I kind of like it right now, but I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I'm very interested to see what her hair looks like shorter. I do really like the longer length on her. It kind of breaks my heart to see her not go to a hairstylist because her hair is just so pretty. God, if a good hairstylist got their hands on that head of hair, it would turn out miraculous. Like it would be so stunning that, mm, you could do amazing things to her hair. I know a lot of people who would die to cut your hair. I wear it up every single day. Like I never have my hair down. I never take the time to do it. So why have it? There's no stopping me. Should I part it in the middle, right? That's a good start. Yes. I've been debating if I'm gonna do the little ponytail holders or not. It looks really satisfying, but also my hair is so thick. I don't think there's any way that's gonna work for me. Well, 
I'm just gonna hold it and kind of like hack through and see how that goes. No, <laughs> the ponytails are there to help you, not to make things harder. You're gonna make it harder by not using the ponytail. <laughs> Do you wanna go like this short so oh, to, um, fix it? I don't know. Oh God, don't pull it like that and cut it. Don't pull it like that. God guys, we need to stop over directing to the front. You're gonna have long pieces down the back. It's not gonna look good. You gotta do multiple sections, at least four. And if you have thicker hair, do like eight. Six, I would take six. I would. You guys do know that hair bounces back, right? Like there's wave pattern in your hair. So when you're pulling it like this really tight and cutting it, it's gonna be a lot shorter when you let go of it. Does that make sense? It springs back, it goes back up. Uh, uh. Am I cutting up? Girl, it doesn't matter. At this point, if you cut up or down, it's still not gonna go well. I love cutting when you can't see. I'm just anticipating the time where she lets it go and it just looks terrible. What is going on? Why are we like traveling with the scissors? <laughs> Her face. Oh, I saw the back. It's not good. I definitely messed that up. Yeah. That's pretty decent for one cut, you know? Right? Yeah. I just need to, I don't know how to trim that. Oh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side first and then, Great. you know, worry about the, uh, Whatever. Should I try to go longer so that it's definitely even? Try being the optimal word. I would have probably just cut them the same length and not longer, but that's just me. Also, what you can do next time, I mean, hopefully there will be no next time, honestly, but you can just comb your hair forward from both sides and then use the guide from the side you already cut and cut the other side, like an inch of the other side, and then part it again and you'll have your guide and you'll know where to cut the other side exactly the same length. I'm always thinking. I got you. Oh, this side's worse. It's getting worse. I honestly didn't think it would get worse, but we found a way to make it at two inches longer on this side than the other side. It's already flipping. My dreams are coming true. The part I love is that it like came out uneven and she goes, like trying to make it even. She's moving her head back and forth. She's like, if I move my head like this, it's even. So I'm gonna just keep it like that. I like this. Um, I don't know how to even it out. What does the back look like? Oh! Is it okay? No! The determination on that face though, you can tell she's in this to win it. I hope she just at least puts some layers in here. Like it just is so blunt and so heavy. If she got a really good haircut with some layering and some wispy texture, some movement, her hair would naturally dry in such a beautiful state. And that is the real difference between a DIY haircut and somebody who's really skilled. You can get your hair to dry literally exactly how you want it if you get a professional haircut from a really great skilled hair cutter. We're going for the bangs. We had, we couldn't stop there. Oh, straight across. No bevel at nothing. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Love it. This honestly feels like I'm watching a seven-year-old child cut their hair and she's a full-grown woman, but I'm loving the adolescent vibes here. It's a, it's a good time. It's like at some point, once you start cutting, like, who cares? Might as well cut more. The back, however, is an animal I'll have to tackle probably a different day. <laughs> Does she notice that one side is so much longer than the other? Oh, okay. I see it now. It's yeah. lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. We're doing some wiring. Did you see that elevation? That was pretty. Oh, just one, just once though. Oh my gosh, so much hair. I like it though. It feels really nice. Yeah, I'll probably fix it along the way if I notice weird spots, but for now, cute. How does the back look? Not great. <laughs> no. Give it a like if it looks good and a dislike if it looks bad. Um, I'll throw you a like. Oh, okay, I mean, listen, the end result, you look beautiful. It's a very cute cut on you. However, I, I can't lie, I would love to see it well done. And this cut would look so good if it was like really well done. It would look so good. But good job, Monica. I'm glad you like it. Those were some definitely um, interesting attempts at a bob. Well, one ended up actually being a bob. The other one, she shaved her head. That was crazy. I did not see that 
coming. But thanks for making me laugh today, guys. It was good. Make sure you guys check out me everywhere else here on my social media handles. And if you want to shop my hair color or my hair care products, you can do so right down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.